What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls with CPA, where I take you on my perfectly imperfect hair and life journey. And today, I'm going to be doing a twist out using Camille Rose products. Now, Camille Rose is a brand that I recommend for anyone, whether you're struggling with dry hair, length retention, moisture retention, all that. Their products are really rich, and I've seen a bunch of reviews from people with different hair characteristics who love those products too. And they also have some really good products for curl definition. Now, I was gonna tell you guys what day hair this is, but I want you guys to guess. Just guess down below what day hair you think this is, whether it's day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just guess down below and I'll let you guys know at the end of the video how many days I've been rocking this twist out for. But without further ado, let's just jump into this video. Now for my wash day, I didn't use Camille Rose products, but let me tell you, it was such a relaxing and beautiful wash day. To pre-boot my hair, I used the One Love Co-Wash from The Do. And if you've seen my 1K video where, you know, I talk about my experience, and I announced a giveaway. Um, this was that day. <laughs> the day I washed my hair, it was the day that I filmed that video and so I actually pre-pooed kinda on camera for you guys. And as you guys know, I love this stuff. I have a full review and demo. I'll include that link down below and also the link to the product down below, but love this stuff. And to wash my hair, I wanted to use an oldie but goodie and just kinda have a relaxing day and enjoy my non-filming wash day, you know, all to myself. So I actually picked up the Texture ID Dry Hair and Scalp Relief exfoliating shampoo and scalp scrub and I love the smell of this but then also it has really nice slip right it does a good job of lifting the dirt off the scalp so if you're having some scalp issues maybe some buildup on your scalp or like itchiness or dryness this is a really good product to use I just recommend that when you're applying it that you do it on soaking wet hair that you do it in sections. I've tried it where I put it all over my head and I just felt like I never could get enough of it. So just do it in sections and you will thank me later. Then I deep conditioned with the Soothing Hair Mask. And this mask is really yummy as well. A little bit goes a long way. As long as your hair is wet, a little bit goes a long way and it feels really like softening and you get the tingles. Like I think you get more tingles from the mask than the shampoo. And it was just like a spa day in my bathroom. So really enjoyed this wash day. <sighs> then guys, I use one of my favorite leave-in conditioners, the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love Moisture Milk. And the key ingredients are rice milk and macadamia oil and y'all. This leave-in conditioner is fire, okay? It really does a good job of moisturizing the hair and penetrating my strands. Like, y'all, when I tell you, I put this on in the shower, right? And because I knew I wanted to do a twist out and I didn't want to go to bed with wet hair, I didn't put a cap on because I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to kind of air dry a little bit. And when I took my twist down to section my hair, my hair was still like, like, juicy and dripping. This does a really good job of helping the hair like to retain the moisture and the water. It has really good slip and it just coats the hair so nicely. And as you can see, my hair still looks really juicy and I did not cover it with the plastic cap at all. And my hair drunk, when I say it drunk up this leave-in conditioner, ooh, ooh, ooh. if there's one product you need in your life, it's that leave-in, okay? I will definitely include a link to it so you can buy it for yourself down below in the description box. As my styler today, I'm actually gonna be going in with the Camille Rose Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. And the key ingredients are aloe vera and macadamia oil, and this product is so nice and creamy like oh this is a butter for real it has like a nice whipped consistency and it feels really good going on to the hair it pairs really well with the moisture milk and this product is supposed to hydrate soften and strengthen and the bottle says that the aloe whipped butter gel is a moisturizing cream based gel that is blended with rich oils for its conditioning properties and vitamins for nourishing the scalp curls will be defined with a light hold and maximum moisture and i agree to all the claims it has a nice hold maximum moisture for days and it definitely helped to tame some of the frizz. And the directions say to section wet or dry hair and apply the product to softly define your curls. Apply to dry curls for extra shine and elongation. Works great on two strand twist styles and braids. Now these products smell like cake. 
Like, it smells like vanilla cake goodness with a hint of mint. I think it paired really well with the Texture ID products that have like eucalyptus and mint in them. It's like, it was just a whole aromatherapy session. It was beautiful. And I typically use the aloe whipped butter gel on my dry hair because it does a good job of moisturizing with hold, but without reverting the curls. And so that's how I typically use it because that's kind of how it was introduced to me. However, this being the first time using it on wet hair, I absolutely love it. Like I love it for both wet and dry hair. And yeah, that. This product could do no wrong. <laughs> what I typically use for my wet styles is the almond jai butter, which is super moisturizing and yummy as well. But at this point, I don't really see a difference between the two. I think I'm gonna have to just buy the almond jai butter and compare them because I, I, I can't tell a difference. My guess is that the aloe whip butter gel has a little bit more hold, but let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in me doing like a comparison video so that you can know which one to buy. But for now, I would say you can't go wrong with either one. You'll see that in certain sections, I do flat twists. I do that in sections that are too small to be too twist, but kind of big, and I don't really want a chunky twist. So I just, I guess, do like a four strand twist. <laughs> But guys, look at my hair. Like, <laughs> it is so juicy. It feels so good and it looks really good as well. You'll notice that in my crown, like at the top of my head, that it's a little like white or product-y, but don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that because my hair drank it all up, okay? It, that The whiteness went away when my hair dried and I was good. And I didn't sit under the dryer or anything. I just put my scarf on, air dry for a little bit, and then went to bed. And this is me two days later. I ended up just wearing my hair in the twist the day before, and I, cause I just wanted to make sure that my hair set really nicely and that it dried completely since I went to bed with them kind of wet. But my twists still look good and they felt good, so. Ain't no problem. To take my twist down, I just coated my hands in a little bit of the aloe whip butter gel. Since this butter doesn't revert my hair, I felt comfortable just putting that on my hands while I took my twist down because I didn't really want to add oil. But as you can see, the curls are popping, okay? These products gave me really, really good definition. And as I'm separating, I'm just separating where I see spaces. And these are my final results. Like, I think this looks real good. <laughs> I'm definitely pleased with my results. I didn't have time to talk on day one because I was going to go take some pictures with my husband, but I'll come back in a couple of days to let you know my final thoughts. And here I am on day six. Now, this is day six of me taking my twist out. Today's Friday and I took my twist out on Sunday, right? But I washed my hair last week, Friday. So it's literally been a whole week since I've washed my hair and my hair is still really moisturized. Like <laughs> my hair feels really good guys. Now my scalp is ready for me to wash my hair, but the way my hair looks and the way that like my ends in the middle of my hair feels, it feels amazing. So I could stretch this out for two more days and I probably will do that, but 
Listen, I got all my monies, all my time's worth in this twist out. And y'all are hilarious because y'all was asking me on Facebook and on Instagram for the tea on this twist out and here we are. This, this is what it is. Now I really, really want to do a comparison of this with the almond jai butter because at this point, I don't even remember the difference. I think this has a little more hold, but I'm not too sure. So like this video if you guys wanna see a comparison video and I will do that for you guys, but I don't really have anything else to say. This was just like fire. <laughs> I don't know how many of you saw my Mona was here twist out video where I was like, yo, this is like the best twist out of 2020. And at that time it was, you know, it wasn't cold. It was like summer springish and it was fire. But this twist out is a lot more moisturized than that one. And I don't know, like, I just love how my hair looks like coily. So. That's it, I ain't got nothing else for y'all. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those all down in the comments. I have links to all the products that I have used and mentioned down in the description box. Do people not know what the description box is? Now, if you're unfamiliar with the description box is, all you have to do is, you see that little arrow right there? You just press that down arrow and then it opens up to like a bunch of information. And y'all, that's where the links be. The links be all down there. You see all that blue stuff? That's, that's where the links. I always will have the links to everything that I use and I talk about in my description box. So if you're looking for something, just check down there and you might find it. But I have nothing else to say. The results speak for themselves. I'm gonna go. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and good hair day vibes. Bye.